before. We Today, Serbia, Macedonia. Back. Back. Uh, this this, 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 this <laughs> euro, <laughs> 10 euro. <laughs> to Serbia. Train, police, to go Macedonia. For immigrants like this young Tunisian, the Macedonian village of Loyane, on the Serbian border, has become a kind of transit stop on their way to Western Europe. Immigrants leave this village of some 3,000 ethnic Albanian residents with the hope of reaching Italy, France, or Austria. It's a journey that requires the migrants to illegally cross through Serbia. But as Serbian police grow more aware of the route, the migrants are seeing their attempts fail more often. Go back to Greece. Why? Why no problem? Police problem, Serbia. I don't want to go to Serbia. After Serbia, I want to go to another country. 300. 300 euro Greek to Lena. Some migrants spend days and even months here before getting their chance to cross the border. In the summer, they gather in a local meadow they call the jungle. In winter, they shelter in abandoned houses. The local population appears to be divided about the visitors. Some say the migrants present no problems and have even brought some money to the village. But others say they're afraid the influx of migrants will mean a rise in crime and infectious disease. Local municipal head Salim Mehmeti says there are fewer immigrants now due to cold weather and frequent border control raids. As many as 500 migrants were staying in Loyane just a few months ago, but now there are only a few dozen. Local authorities are expecting a new wave of immigrants this spring and are mulling how to respond. Those migrants who are already here say they will not give up hope. They will try to cross the border as many times as it takes to finally get to Western Europe.